Ghost Productions presents Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwood Survival. Today, I'm going to be throwing a new type of Adelaide dart that I've made. This is not made out of arrow cane. This is actually made out of a, a bamboo. I've got another bamboo four shaft in there. And inside that four shaft, I have a removable four shaft made out of a carbon arrow. And uh, whenever you throw this and you hit your animal, we're gonna say we threw it and we hit our animal while we're hunting and it runs off, this dart will fall out, leaving the four shaft in there and it won't break my dart. And what happens is I can pick up my dart again and plug another four shaft in, just like Native Americans did. This was just on a uh, little bit more high tech level or low tech, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, because I'm sure that uh, Nap and Arrowheads and stuff, to me, is on a high-tech level. Also, if you look at my fletchings, it's made out of a yucca material. It's not made out of feathers, and you can see how I've got them bent, so whenever you throw it, it catches air. Kind of like a, if you watch uh, the little air louvers on top of a, uh, roofs that little metal thing when the wind blows it sits there and circulates and it lets air out of your attic or the uh, uh, wind powered uh, generators they're shaped like that so when the wind blows it catches it and turns around my idea makes it spiral my other idea is you're not always going to be able to get feathers and you want to stabilize this thing out so you got to come up with a different thing and in my area there's a plenty of this yucca so with that being said I'm gonna get out here I'm gonna throw a little bit this is my adlatl itself the throwing board this is uh, one I just made and you see I got a little bit a little bit different design and it also has a spur on it you see my spur and that fits in the back of your dart like so I got a design where I don't have to hold my dart my dart rests across my fingers My dart just rests there like so, and it helps with accuracy, I think. I don't have to worry about letting go at a certain time. I'm gonna get out there and throw it a few times. Let's see how we do. Go, we're in my target. That been a pig, it been a goner. I pull my my loud dart comes out and leaves my four shaft in there. And I pull it up. Replace it with a new one. still in my target but I was kind of off to the right and because whenever I threw when I let go my shoulder went to the right it's kind of like pitching a ball throwing a football it's gonna go where your shoulder goes
As you can see wherever it hits, it hits with a lot of force. I'm not throwing super hard. But that thing probably weighs about 35 to 4,000 grains. That pouring alone, just the fill pouring on there is uh, 300 grains. So this is a lot heavier, a lot thicker wall than my normal Adelaide. And uh, I'm Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwood Survival. And like I always say, if you ain't practicing your skills, when it comes time to use them, you won't have them. So get out there and practice.